All right, folks. Uh, thanks for uh, joining. I uh, hope everybody's having a great day today. Uh, we are here to talk about thin print and how your printing system should keep pace. Uh, so we're going to try to keep printing as interesting as possible for y'all. Uh, and, you know, this is uh, another installment of my what I'm calling Webinar Wednesdays. Uh, first, before we jump in, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Pete Downing, the uh, Chief Marketing and Technology Officer for Zentegra. Uh, I'll tell you guys, you know, I'll tell you guys who is Zentegra at the, towards the end. A little uh, quick FYI for you guys. And then uh, on the phone, I have two guests. I have uh, Colleen and Thomas from ThinPrint. So they're going to take us through uh, ThinPrint mobile solutions and talk a little bit about, you know, printing and security as well. Uh, so I'm going to be, you know, passing uh, the baton over in a little bit to get the the overview for ThinPrint. So thanks for joining us, Colleen and, and Thomas, today. Uh, so Good morning. as I said er earlier, uh, as I said earlier, uh, the um, this is part of my installment of what I'm calling Webinar Wednesday. So if you go to uh, go.zentegra.com forward slash webinar, uh, you'll see a listing of webinars, and that list is going to grow over the next week. We have uh, we have about two webinars a month uh, throughout the uh, between now and end of year. And then we are also going to extend this uh, into 2019 and keep this going because it's uh, people like it. And we're going to try to keep the topics uh, fresh and keep the uh, webinars as interesting as possible for you all. Um, so definitely check out that uh, link when you have a moment after the webinar today. All right. So today's agenda is pretty simple. Uh, we're, I'm going to do a couple of quick polls. I like to do polls as part of my webinars because I like to level set you know who's on the phone what you guys are interested in and we and we like to tailor and then we try to tailor a little bit around some of the inputs we get um and as far as uh you know and then i'm going to pass over to colleen and thomas uh to talk about thin print uh and we're going to focus on you know mobile printing but we're also going to talk towards the end about a little bit around printing security um so i have a couple of questions around mobile printing for you in my polls just to get an idea of you know, is that a headache for you guys? Uh, do you guys use BYO, et cetera? And then I'll, and then I'll finally cap off uh, the conversation with a little high level overview on who is Zentegra and how you can interact with us to get more information on thin print. And then, you know, as, as always, question and answers are welcome. Uh, there is a questions dialogue box uh, in the GoTo uh, webinar. Uh, however, at the end, if you feel bold and you want to be unmuted, we, we can also open the lines for Q&A at the end. Uh, so a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, yes, everybody's on mute. Um, so, you know, again, if you have any questions, you can use the question and answer dialogue in the GoToWebinar. And then at the end, if we have time, you know, we can open it up for either text-based questions and or unmuted questions as well. So I like to, you know, give that option towards the end. So again, everybody's on mute. We are using a GoToWebinar um, and you guys should hopefully all be able to see my screen and hear me okay and if you can't just let me know through chat uh and we'll try to take care of that as soon as possible but i'm assuming uh, uh i can see the little dashboard everybody can see my screen and everybody can hear me so all right so a couple of quick polls uh just to kind of level set today's uh webinar uh so the first poll is uh you know kind of a simple poll you know printing is a big issue in my enterprise today um you know and yeah, so I'm going to let everybody get uh, take a minute and vote. Uh, so if you can just take a few minutes and select an option, yes or no. And I kind of put a little humor behind it uh, just to make it a little fun. Uh, and that will give us a little uh, a little level set uh, so we can kind of talk to that. So I'll give it about five more seconds. Three, two, one. And we'll share the results. So a good chunky is saying that, yes, printing is an issue uh, in the enterprise today. Uh, and then there's a small percentage of you that say you're a printing ninja, so you know, good on you. And I'm guessing if you're Citrix, you've mastered the domain of Citrix printing. So, um, you know, awesome. And uh, it's good to hear that people are still having printing issues and thin print can definitely help with those issues. All right, so mobile printing, let's talk about that. So mobile printing is a big headache for me. So I'm gonna launch that poll. And uh, again, little, you know, a little humor. But, you know, trying to make this fun. Um, you know, again, mobile printing, you know, people like to print from their phones. How easy is it? Uh, you know, is it an issue in the enterprise? Uh, do you already have, you know, do you may, maybe have a solution today? You know, I know iOS tries to make it easy, but again, iOS and 
Android aren't necessarily enterprise ready. So, all right, we'll give a few more seconds. All right, and we're gonna close this poll and we'll do a share. So about 50-50. So mobile printing, uh, you know, is, is a headache for some. And, uh, you know, some of you guys, you know, have your users trained pretty well, either that or they don't print from their mobile devices. And hopefully we can show you how to make that a little easier as well as we go through today's webinar. All right, so let's hide that poll and bring up the next poll. Uh, when I think printing, I think security. Um, so just, you know, launch that. And this is more of a kind of a thought provoking question, you know, cause I mean, let's face it, when someone prints and they leave a document uh, on the printer, if that document is confidential or, you know, has trade secrets or whatnot and your cleaners come in at night, you know, what's stopping the cleaners from taking that document and, you know, identity theft, uh, you know, sky's the limit, right? So, you know, you know, there's more security around printing than we think. All right, so we're gonna close this poll and share it. So about about a good chunk of it. Majority you say yes, you know, that when I think printing, I think security in a small percentage, you know, uh, say no. And hopefully by the end of this, you'll start thinking otherwise that, yeah, you know what, maybe there is a need for some secure printing, push, you know, poll printing, uh, things like that. And we'll, we'll cover that a little bit as we go through today's webinar. And then finally, uh, we allow BYO mobile devices in our enterprise. Um, and just more of a curiosity question. Um, and again, we'll we'll talk a little bit to this around mobile printing today. And I'll give about another 10 seconds or so. Got a good response rate on all these questions. So thank you for taking the time to answer them. All right, a couple more seconds. Three, two, one, and we're gonna share these. So good majority of you allow BYO. I mean, I hate to admit it. I used to be in IT. Uh, it's the nature of the beast now. Uh, you know, unfortunately, the users are the consumer now, so we have to say yes. Uh, remember when I first started in IT back in 1999? Uh, you know, we were the we were the basically the boss, and we could say nope, this is what it's going to be. Now it's the reverse. So, uh, so BYO is becoming a big part of the enterprise, and and thin print can help there as well. So, so those are the polls for today. So thank you for uh, taking a minute. Um, and again, that just helps us kind of level set on the conversation. So. You know, as much as we like to think printing is uh, dead or printing is not used in the enterprise or, you know, I'll be honest with you, I try not to print whenever possible, but I'm not in a line of work where printing is necessary. You go into legal, you go into finance, you go into healthcare. Uh, printing is still a big part of the enterprise uh, in those industries. Um, so, you know, as much as we like to fool around and, you know, I had to do a more appropriate picture here, but, you know, printers are still very valid. Uh, and you know what, when you print, you know, we shouldn't frustrate our users. You know, unfortunately, I, I wanted to use an image from Office Space. I don't know if you guys remember that movie, but unfortunately, due to copyright, I'm not allowed to use that. So I found the next best thing. And, you know, again, you know, when, you, when your users print, they should be able to know what printer they're printing to. It should be easy and it should be secured. Uh, and then finally, you know what, as much as we all think printing is a novelty, it, it isn't. And, you know, you know, you know, again, I this is a kind of a, you know, tongue in cheek uh, picture, but, you know, I was, you know, taking a selfie in front of a, a, photo, a, a printer. Um, but, you know, as you know, as much as we don't want to print, printing is still very valid uh, in the enterprise and thin print can help make it easy and make it simplified for your users. So just a couple little snarky, uh, fun photographs I was putting up on social media. And if you're not following us and or thin print on social media, highly recommend it. All right, so let's talk about printing and I'm gonna pass the baton over to uh, Colleen and she's gonna take us through the introduction on thin print, who they are and what they uh, do. And then she's gonna give it over to Tom Thomas and he's gonna um, take us through the technical details of thin print. So I'm gonna make Colleen the presenter and she is gonna take the baton and talk about Thin print. Hello, my name is Colleen Herbert. I'm a national account manager with Thin Print, based out of the Denver office. And Thomas is also out of the office here, and he'll be uh, talking in a few moments. But thanks for joining us today to talk about um, mobile print as well as Thin Print in general. Click on the right thing. There we go. Just a quick background about ThinPrint in case you haven't heard about us or in case you haven't heard about us in a little while. 
we've been in the business of um, focusing on printing for over 20 years. Um, and we definitely see a, a continued need to, to make sure that printing is reliable, secure, fast, and a great experience for the users. We have over 27,000 customers, all sizes, all verticals, pretty much you know around the world, 126 countries to date. And some of our biggest implementations go over um, 200,000 users. So any of our solutions do very much scale to um, you know small to very large businesses. And like I said, we are 100% focused on printing. So we definitely get the, you know, do you deal with scanning at all? Um, we don't, we, we wanna make sure that we're the best in the industry for printing. Um, the, the logos on the bottom here are uh, those companies that we have alliances with both on the printing side as well as on the thin client and workstation side. So that means that our thin client um, or our thin print uh, clients are embedded in different printers and thin clients. So that just makes it that much easier for when uh, you are working on deploying FinPrint in your enterprise. Also wanted to highlight that we have close alliances with Citrix, Microsoft, and VMware. We've been Citrix ready prior to Citrix having that program probably, um, ever since Citrix uh, was created as probably the impetus for the, the company's creation as well. I saw that need for printing in the multi-user environment, and we've evolved from there. Um, we're very closely with Microsoft. If you've noticed, um, we were just at Microsoft Ignite last week and talked about some of the, the alliances we have with their new Azure platform, the Windows 10 platform there. And VMware, we've uh, also, we're a partner as well as a, half the alliance. We are the OEM printing solution for VMware View, in case um, you come across contact with that. And also wanted to highlight some of the larger companies that have allowed us to share that we, they are happy customers. Before we dive into mobile printing, um, this somewhat eye chart is just wanted to let you know that we do printing pretty much for any type of situation. Um, so not just Citrix sessions or not just um, you know one particular case. We have on-premise solutions. We have solutions that are cloud-based. Um, we have some server-only solutions for direct IP printing. Um, you know, the, the sky's the limit as far as what we can do. So if there's anything related to printing that's a pain point in your environment, definitely at least give us a, a call so we can talk through your, your situation and talk um, about how we can resolve those issues. Um, anything from legacy to now the most current needs is uh, native mobile printing, which we will focus on um, today. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce Thomas Wade, who is one of our technical consultants based out of Denver, and he's going to bring us through the next past, or the next uh, few slides. Thank you for that, Colleen. I appreciate it. Let me go ahead and get my screen going. All righty. So, I suppose before we jump in, uh, I'll introduce myself as well. I, of course, am one of the pre-sales engineers and solutions consultants for the ThinPrint and our various other product lines. I've been in IT myself uh, almost 20 years, and I've been working from end-user computing and peripheral support all the way up to data center architecture. So I'm happy to talk about printing today. So the state of mobile productivity today, from our own phones and tablets to the highest end graphics and 3D design machines, year over year, users request more flexibility for these devices from us IT folks. Users want to check email, make calls, and importantly, generate real and meaningful work from the devices they have available. IT teams are constantly balancing these desires for more liquid workflows and the complexity for supporting ever-growing numbers of devices and their categories. As that demand grows, we find that the major hurdle to making many categories of devices really productive has been the complex, disjointed, and often seemingly impossible task of printing. Whether in a board meeting, a quick idea session, or any task that needs digital information to be brought back to our physical world, ThinPrint has a solution to help any user on any device to get printing. Mobile print specifically supports users when they roam within or to another site, when they're working at a field location, or simply need reliable choices wherever they happen to be. 
with simplicity and security, you can breathe easy knowing you'll see more productivity from your users in more places with fewer disruptions to regular work, fewer help desk calls from less trouble, and substantially reduced opportunities for data leakage. Mobile print presents native application compatible print options for your users and pushes all the rendering work back to your servers, where you'll have the option to record full analytics, reduce the need to distribute native printer drivers to your workstations and devices, and, and in, with combination of other thin print products, remove those needs entirely. This also helps provide clear boundaries for approved workflows on those bring your own devices. Mobile print helps to keep your organization's critical data secure from the user's device to the printer, fully end to end. By relying on a Windows print spooler under the hood, we can support tens of thousands of printer makes and models without bringing slow, weighty, and crash consistent packages to users. Those deployment packages themselves for mobile print can be seamlessly integrated into your existing or upcoming mobile device management or enterprise mobility management strategies. And if you're not using one of those solutions, don't worry. User devices can be configured with a couple of clicks, even without any central management. When you're setting up and maintaining mobile print, you'll notice it's easy to empower your Active Directory users in groups to use printing from their various devices. Whether you're deploying a new server or routing printing through existing queues, Mobile Print quickly and easily imports print queues from published servers and automatically inherits security settings and features. If you want to fine tune those beyond the import, you've got that power too. Mobile devices for business use typically require a secure EMM solution. Thanks to mobile device management, Smartphones and tablets can securely and productively integrate into the company. Mobile application management provides employees with the necessary apps, and ThinPrint Mobile Print enables mobile printing for those MDM and MAM solutions, such as Mobile Iron, AirWatch, Zen Mobile. ThinPrint's close collaboration with leading MDM vendors ensures the seamless integration of mobile printing with any proprietary EMM system. This helps ensure that your apps, your data, and your devices for your mobile workers and your printing workers are securely managed through your central system. ThinPrint has worked, with, has worked as an industry leader for over two decades, coordinating many dozens of hardware and software vendor efforts. As a result of our close partnerships with other industry leaders, we're happy to provide flexibility for deploying printing to your devices using almost any management strategy out there. By integrating your print process with your preferred solution, you can bring your printing to your users with as much or as little flexibility as you'd like. Enrolling users is a snap. Bulk or single enrollments can be done through email or through your EMM or MDM. Users then simply log into the application on their personal device with the same AD credentials they're used to using. And in moments, they're ready to print with an intuitive interface and integration with their local OS. So users have no need to go through extra steps like registration systems or complicated portals. Mobile Print offers a free application for both Android, iOS, and Mac OS so that users can quickly add or change the printer devices that they need. Printers, however, are always assigned by the administration team as options for the users to choose from. And since we're leveraging your corporate infrastructure's backend, printers can be provided to users even when they're over MPLS, VPN, or even over public internet. And of course, if you have a driver, It'll work with your users. From a user's perspective, they can simply send documents to the printer of their choice from any application they're working in, like Microsoft Word and any other app that would be installed either locally or through the MDM. If you're deploying your solution for mobile print through your MDM, 
you can additionally microcontrol those containers so that you don't have to worry about where data is coming and going. Hey, and you hey do Thomas. Have, so, oh, my so, apologies. So, yeah, absolutely. Pete. So, yeah, so qu question to, um, to you, and just to get, kind of maybe get the question and the answers going. So talk to me yeah. about, um, you know, you, you mentioned tie into Active Directory, you know, just a point of clarification. Do you guys currently work today with uh, Office 365 in Azure AD as well? Um, if, if Absolutely. Azure AD is something we see quite commonly as companies have migrated to cloud and infrastructure providers to put their digital infrastructures in the back end as densely and simply as possible. And we're totally compatible with the Azure AD. And then as far as the, the SaaS app goes, um, are you guys, you know, let's say I'm a BYO user, uh, but you're not using MAM or you're not using MDM, so you're not using like a Citrix or a VMware, um, or mobile iron, um, or even Intune for that matter. Uh, you know, can you guys still work with the BYO user with, with your free app? Absolutely. Even if you're not using a mobile device management solution or an enterprise mobility management strategy, our software automatically builds in a mechanism so that even if you have no solution for managing your mobile devices, a user can log in and configure their application to connect to your server in a matter of four steps. Entering your server's name, entering their username, entering their password, and hitting connect. Once they've got that, the package specific to their user can be manually added by the application mobile print itself. So even without an MDM or an EMM, we can load that user-specific configuration package directly into iOS or Android exactly the same way an MDM would. The user just has to push OK to accept that installation. Cool. So it's, it's pretty easy then. <laughs> Absolutely. And of course, users aren't just limited to having to open the document up in an application and then send that document to the mobile print app. They can also, using a file browser, they can drop that file directly into the application. They can also use the share as features if you've got some of those more exotic apps that like to do strange things. Best of all, from the user's perspective, mobile print supports as rich a feature set as is possible. So even though we're working on mobile OSs, we can support the number of copies, whether it's monochrome or color, whether it's portrait or, pardon, portrait or landscape, whether it's simplex or duplex, what resolution we're creating, and of course, whether we're dealing with any of those print ticketing options. And as we've been talking about security through this whole process, the best part of it, I think, from a security or IT person's standpoint, is that that print job is fully encrypted at rest and encrypted for TLS transit. So from the moment your user submits that job to the mobile print application, all the way out through your back end, that data is secure. And all of this really means that not just the printers that you have predefined on your corporate infrastructure, FinPrint's engine components on the back end allow us to render print jobs for essentially any printer out there and return them to the user's device. So if your user's out in the field, visiting a customer site, working at an unusual or temporary location, Instead of having to have the printer well-defined on the corporate infrastructure, ThinPrint's mobile print has a feature to allow us to send the print job up to your rendering server so that you can still take full analytics on the back end, still have that reduced driver footprint out in the world. We'll render it against uh, whatever print queue settings and options the user selects and send that job back down to the user's device to then release over their local network. Similarly to how uh, Google cloud print capability works and very much like how the air print capability works. The difference is now 
that your users don't have to be bound to a known printer. And you don't necessarily have to work with a printer that has an open free-for-all security setting like an AirPrint might. And of course, from the user's perspective, it's simply a matter of clicking one button to see those locally available ad hoc Wi-Fi printers rather than the corporate printers. If you guys want to allow your users to do this, it's absolutely as flexible as you need it to be. You can disallow or allow these features. And then Colleen, I will pass this back over to you for security discussion. And again, if there's any questions at all, please feel free to ask. Uh, again, use the Q&A dialog. Uh, we're here to answer any and all questions, even if you got something outside of the, the content that's burning, you can always ask around printing. And again, we have the uh, two experts in thin print on the phone today. So if you have a question even outside the content, feel free to ask. We can even help you out with 3D printing as that happens to be one of my specialties. <laughs> Thanks, Thomas. Um, I, the last few uh, slides of content are really around the user. So to Pete's poll, are you concerned with printer printouts being stuck on a printer, um, you know, the, the cleaning staff walking away with sensitive documents, et cetera. So there's definitely many solutions out there on the market. Um, and we have, uh, you know, several under our umbrella as well. But as related to mobile printing, um, you can enable a pull print type situation. So make sure that um, the user through the app, they can authenticate. So you would attach a barcode or a, a tag to a, any printer. Again, it's the any, any printer scenario we try to uh, work with. Um, then the user would decide to walk up to whatever printer that has that barcode. They'd pull up the app. They would scan the, the code. And when they scan the code, they see the print jobs that they have available to them that they've sent from their computer or from their mobile device. Um, they could decide to, um, you know, turn a uh, take one print job versus another, um, they can prioritize, delete, et cetera. So it's, it's pretty user friendly um, and they might, you know, again, change their mind on what they want printed. But the good news is that they are standing there and they will retrieve the print job, assuming that they don't space out in the two seconds that they're standing there and walk away. So what that does is it really saves costs a lot. So only what you need or only what the user really needs at that moment is printed. They might second guess themselves or second, um, you know, make a decision that, you know what, I actually don't need this other thing printed, so I'll just delete it. Um, so it just really gives them the opportunity to, to do what they want to do, as well as to save you guys uh, costs. So potentially up to 20% fewer printouts we've seen uh, and significantly reduced amount of paper and toner costs with tons of paper just sitting there. And you had you could rest at night knowing that what is printed is picked up and you don't have those secure that security hole is plugged. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a wrap up here related to mobile printing. So as Thomas had highlighted, we, we offer printing for any mobile scenario. You could use corporate network printers or local Wi-Fi printers that um, that were not traditionally available to users with uh, mobile devices. And it is completely platform, platform independent. So we will work with any type of the, of the mobile apps or mobile devices that are out there. Our focus is on security, especially with mobile devices being able to go anywhere. And a lot of them are those BYOD devices that are not fully owned and managed through an MDM solution. Um, we do encrypt everything and we offer the secure pull printing. And for those environments that you do offer those MDM and EMM, we tie into those as well. So we're going to inherit the permissions for the printers and you can edit them if you if you require that. Um, maybe you wanna have different settings for those mobile users, so you're definitely able to do that. It's very flexible. You're able to also manage the apps and the profiles with that. Um, so again, uh, what apps can users print from? Maybe not some of um, those medical apps or you know those sensitive apps, might only be able to be printed from certain PCs in your area, so you can lock that down from the mobile devices, but you're able to let users uh, print their presentations, maybe executives, um, select groups. So
So it's really flexible and just it's going to tie into whatever security scenario you have um, outlined. Again, it's a pure software product as far as um, uh, on, the side, on the side of the users. Uh, you're going to support your, all of the network printers, all the models, manufacturers, et cetera. You don't need to change your printer hardware. It's going to be all changed in your data center so that you can offer this solution out to your users. And in, 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 throw, or in uh, closing, you're able to test this for free. So this is the link. We could always follow up with this uh, as well. But um, I'll also show oh, uh, my contact information at the end. Um, but yeah, feel free to download uh, and take it for a test run. It's going to tie into your corporate environment. There are some prereqs that will be uh, outlined in the documentation. This is for corporate use. The, the funniest thing is that we have a lot of grandmas that want to print uh, pictures of their grandkids. We do actually have a free app for that, but not the mobile print that is a corporate, a corporate based app. And again, you could find it in the App Store and the Google Play. And then finally, just as a reminder, ThinPrint, while we, we focus on this mobile print now, um, you know, it's a new offering. We have a very wide swath of printing offerings for any scenario that you have. Um, again, cloud or on-prem or a hybrid approach as well. We offer analytics, uh, you know, so there's an opportunity to do chargebacks in student scenarios. There's auditing um, information. You know, again, we're not just offering the best printing experience, but also the best admin and management scenario as well. So I'd like to thank you for your time, and uh, I'll turn it back over to Pete. Yeah, so we have two uh, cool uh, questions from some of the audience. So Andy asked a good question, um, you know, uh, around the print solution and how you guys compare to some of your friendly uh, competitors. So, I, you know, I know that's a kind of a hard question to answer, but if you were to give, you know, your top one or two or three features where you think you excel over your competition, what would, what would they be? If I were to fairly summarize up Andy's question. <laughs> That's, that's a good one. I'll start, and Thomas, you can um, add on. From the from the perspective, I, you know, you saw that very crowded slide of all the things we do. Uh, we have a lot of great competitors, and it's, it, it keeps us on our toes, of course, as, as any competitor would. But we are the number one uh, printing-focused uh, software manufacturer. Uh, so we have, we cover pretty much at most, if not all, of the scenarios. Um, our solution, we do have competitors that compete with one or two of the different products there. Um, another aspect of what we do is um, keeping the, the print data as print data. And Thomas could probably expand on that versus sending over PDFs over the wire. Um, but Thomas, I guess, do you have any other additional points? Yeah, absolutely. Of course, we focus primarily on the mobile print product today. We haven't discussed the thin print engine product, our personal printing, or hybrid cloud, and fully serverless options. Now, of course, there are, as Colleen said, a bunch of competitors out there. Some of them actually do a couple of things. Most of what we found is that print providers tend to focus on one or two core use cases and get really good at those. Now, we've been in this space longer than most anybody else has, and we've been focused on innovation and security that whole time. So, of course, our printing products use TLS encryption at rest, and we have the ability by potentially combining different products to keep every platform, iOS, Chrome OS, Android, uh, drag and drop HTML5 web browsers, Linux thin and zero clients, uh, terminals, Windows machines, desktop, virtual, session, local, doesn't make any difference to us. Ultimately, we're gonna be able to provide a fully secured printing product and I think the other big differentiator, of course, there are a few folks out there that say, oh, we can get rid of your print server. We can't actually get rid of all your servers, but we can get rid of the thing called the print server. ThinPrint does have that offering where we are truly serverless. There is no server infrastructure to install in your environment if you want to go that way for local direct IP printing on workstations. But of course, ThinPrint's general mindset is that we want to take your real printer drivers because those are the ones that are going to work best for your printers and we want to isolate those as much as possible and actually so one other point oh sorry yeah absolutely go ahead no I, i'll let you finish but i just wanted to make a point when you're oh, talking yeah. sorry 
Absolutely. So we isolate those drivers as much as possible and let the heavy lifting be done by something that was absolutely designed for it. Let the print server with one server-based printer driver version per printer object actually take care of that rendering and keep it secure all the way out, keep it auditable, keep it manageable, and keep the end user devices as simple as possible, helping you guys reduce IT calls and, of course, take care of more important things than paper. Yeah, and I guess the only point I was going to make was that we, you hear the word, the term universal driver uh, all the time, probably. We're not trying to be a universal driver, all things, all printers everywhere. Um, our thin print driver that you put out there that's, you know, like, I'll back up. The native drivers have to be somewhere, as Thomas noted. Otherwise, the thin print software is somewhere, and it's going to present enough of a quote-unquote driver to the Windows operating system that it thinks it has a driver. But then it will ultimately play back to that And whether we're talking about driver. mobile or Windows, exactly. we're presenting just enough for there to be a user experience on the device. But all the heavy lifting is done on the server side. And of course, with all of our products, we're compressing that data in transit as well. So you're going to use fewer resources, especially at scale. Cool, you get yeah. A, 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 yeah, the finishing options that those drivers offer, the public finishing options. Cool. So yeah, good, good, uh, good, good overview and explanation. So the next question comes from Todd. Uh, he uh, he's asking about how the product is licensed. So his example is: What if we only have an issue with mobile printing, i.e., Citrix VDI can't print to iOS AirPrint? Is it all or nothing, or user based, or et cetera? You've got yeah, it. Pretty- yeah, that's a user-based license. And through our different options, we could absolutely support mobile printing for air print printers in a Citrix session. We call that product mobile session print. But all of our products are going to be based on the user identity. So one user can be registered and use as many devices, as many sessions in as many locations for as many printers as they need. Yeah, and it's not an all or nothing. You can limit it to a subset of your users. So maybe mobile is only relevant for your executives um, or, you know, or the business travelers. So you would just use licenses for those folks that you allow those licenses to be pulled from for. Cool. And, uh, and then Jeff asked a question. Um, he, uh, he, you know, just, just a kind of question, and I'll, I'll add some context around it as well. Uh, how exactly uh, is this managed? And, and you know, Thomas, you kind of alluded to it, but if you want to focus a little more on this topic, and you know, is it via a central administration console on a server, or and you put question mark, and then I'll add, you know, do you guys also do you have any SaaS based offering as well? Sure, sure. So uh, the majority of our products are managed. Uh, your printers are going to be managed exactly the same way as they always have. Of course, we work with larger scale customers pretty routinely to help build automation strategies to reduce the amount of actual work that an admin has to do in maintaining those printer queues. But almost all of the work that you're going to do with the mobile print product is going to be done from an IIS hosted web page in your environment. Uh, Our cloud premise offerings, eZip and eZip Dash, are managed through a publicly available web page. And the ThinPrint engine and personal printing products are managed through a server MMC snap-in. Cool. All right. Um, and then and Jake asked, uh, so Colleen, you, you sent something about public finishing mode. He said, what is meant by that? Oh, I think I can answer yeah. that question. Yep. So Microsoft defined a thing back in version three of the schooler that they call print ticketing. And that's the closest that anybody's been able to come in herding cats, as it were, for the different printer manufacturers, because they all have competing physical hardware arrangements. They all kind of have strange driver relationships. So there's no true standardization for a print queue. But ThinPrint supports the largest range of finishing options for the widest selection of printers by tapping into that standard. So if your printer supports stapling, punching, Binding, multi-page layout, monochrome or color, simplex or duplex, orientation, tray, resolution, and paper size. We can pick up all of those options for a standard driver. 
Awesome. So that's that's pretty cool. All right. So the so user again, sees it, a unified experience, and the different makes and models stay on the back end, however they are. The user gets to see one set of interfaces that look and are organized the same way. Cool. Yeah. No, it's a it's a great solution, and uh, you know, definitely we love being a partner. So, uh, oh, Todd, Todd asked another question. Um, you know, so mobile session printing offering can it be strictly cloud based or limited to, well, uh, cloud based to limit or null any infrastructure setup on our enterprise side? Now, both the mobile print and the mobile session print products are on-premise installations. That being said, our software is fully platform independent. All we care about is being on a Windows operating system in the server 2008 R2 or newer. If you're on a hosted provider, if you're on a cloud service like Azure or AWS, our software is fully agnostic of that. Cool, all right. All right, so uh, again, keep the questions coming. If you have any questions lingering, feel free to pop them in the Q&A. I'll, I'll take a minute at the end to uh, to uh, answer any final questions, but I wanted to just do a quick uh, high level on you know who is Integra and you know what do we do. And um, so really quick, you know for those who don't know who we are, uh, this is Andy, he's our founder and CEO. Um, Andy you know, was actually an SE at Citrix for about seven years. Um, Myself, I was actually at Citrix for almost nine years, just over nine years. Uh, and, uh, you, you know, that's a theme in, in Zentegra is a lot of us did work at Citrix in one way or another. Um, but, you know, when, when Andy was a partner, uh, an SE, and he would interact with partners, he just became very dissatisfied with what the partner ecosystem looked like. So he wanted to form a partner that was different, a partner that focused on enablement, um, and really have true partnerships with our vendors. So we we do a lot of stuff around education. We do a lot of stuff around enablement. And this is, you know, again, like something new that I'm trying, which, you know, to run webinars on different topics to, you know, educate my customers and prospects. Um, so what are we? We're, it's simple, we're a reseller. So if you, you're interested in, you know, buying thin print, you can, you can work with us. And we can help enable you, uh, you know, get thin print up and running, uh, POC it, et cetera. Uh, and then when you're ready to make the decision, we can help uh, execute the sale. Uh, we can act as a consultant. Uh, so we can come in and, you know, again, help you get it implemented, help it in, uh, inter interact with your Citrix environments, because, you know, obviously Citrix is our bread and butter. Uh, and then finally, we can act as an advisor. So, you know, that's one of my favorite parts of the role that I'm in is I can tell you what I think and, Give you give you a uh, great input on your use case, uh, your scenarios, et cetera. And, and you know, again, if uh, one of my you know long time uh, skill sets is I was actually a product manager for about the last 12 years before joining uh, Zentegra. And then finally, my favorite part about being on the VAR side is you know I can offer you a single point of you know contact and give you a nice single uh, invoice and help you consolidate. Uh, your product uh, acquisitions to one vendor. Uh, so it's kind of nice. And, and then also I can build you a nice solution stack that makes sense uh, for your digital transformation or you know VDI or whatever you're doing in this uh, great world we call IT. Uh, so these are all the partners we work with. And as you can see, ThinPrint is a great partner of ours. But if you notice, Citrix is at the core of what we do. So everything we do is centered around Citrix. Uh, and everything we want to do is to help enable Citrix be successful. So thin print is one of those pieces, uh, and thin print is one of our uh, premier printing partners uh, that we work with today. And again, you know, we can uh, we can obviously work with you know uh, the friendly competitor, but uh, we are where we excel is on the Citrix uh, side. And again, if you're interested uh, in more events, uh, you know, definitely head over to zentegra.com forward slash events, and you can see all the free events we do offer. Uh, we do offer a wide, a wide array of hands-on workshops, uh, free full-day workshops. And if you happen to be based in Houston, Dallas, or San Antonio, I'm going to be there in the middle of October uh, doing a workspace-focused uh, workshop. Uh, you know, it's it's Citrus Cloud, but I'm I'm actually I've tweaked it to be more workspace focused, uh, and that's going to be on prem. So definitely check that out if you are in Texas 
and would like to uh, take a free workshop on Citrus Cloud and Workspace. Uh, and then next week on 1010, which actually is my birthday, uh, we are doing another one of these with Control Up. So if you're interested in hearing about Control Up, uh, my buddy Marcel is going to be doing the uh, overview and demo. He loves to demo the product and show you how easy it is to get up and running. Uh, so that's our webinar for next week. And then we have about a two week break. And later on in the month, we're going to be talking about IGIL and Windows 10. So those are some of the webinars coming up uh, if you're interested in hopping on. And again, it's an hour of your time. Uh, I try to make these as entertaining as possible and, and keep them within the hour for you. Uh, so again, if you're interested in Zentegra, we do offer a wide array of services. Uh, so we can do your basic uh, you know, consulting services. Uh, we also do a, we have our own MSP and we actually this week uh, announced formally, uh, we are now a, a Microsoft Gold partner uh, specializing in Azure and Office 365. Uh, and then we also do host our own cloud for, you know, mid-market and SMB. Um, so if you're interested in any of these offerings, you can definitely reach out to myself uh, and or uh, info at Zentegra.com. And, uh, you know, one of our sales folks will be in touch. And then at the end, yeah, though, that's not a catch. Those are free. Uh, we do offer what we call free micro assessments, AKA health checks. Um, and, you know, one of the big areas we focus on is obviously Citrix. Uh, we can come in and do an assessment of your Citrix environment. Uh, and we give you a SWOT analysis on what your environment looks like and give you food for thought. So why is Integra? I'll keep this simple. You know, we're focused. Uh, you know, we're one of the top national partners across the country for Citrix uh, and other partners in our stack. Uh, we're capable. Uh, you know, we, again, we're nationwide. We cover the whole U.S. Um, and we're very healthy. And Andy is very smart about how we grow. And then finally, we're, we're committed. And, and one of the stories I like to tell is, you know, if you do have a renewal coming up uh, with Citrix and any of the products, we take those renewal dollars and we invest them back into you. Uh, via rebate. So if you have a Citrix renewal coming up between now and end of year, you know, definitely let us know uh, because if you want to go to Citrix Synergy next year, meet Colleen, meet myself um, and hang out at Synergy, uh, we can help you get there. And we do that via Citrix renewal dollars. So what we do is if you renew through us, we give you a rebate and you can use that rebate to go to Synergy to bring us on site uh, or to use it for other educational purposes like layer eight training. So uh, you know, our clients are our number one priority and we don't care how big or small you are. So finally, some calls to action today. Uh, you got a lot of great information. I know we focused on mobile printing today, but you know, as you saw, thin print can do a lot more. Uh, if you're interested in getting a demo, uh, you can work with us and, you know, Colleen and myself, and we can uh, get you a, a demo set up and uh, we can tie you to uh, the proper sales rep at Zentegra and make sure it goes as smooth as possible. And that also bundles in the next bullet, which is if you want to POC it to one of the questions earlier, um, you can definitely POC it and we'll help you through that process. And then finally, we can deal with your purchase and then we can become your renewal partner. And again, renewal dollars are key uh, because we like to invest uh, those back into you via rebates. So something to think about as you uh, go through the day today. And if you are definitely interested in, um, in uh, thin print, you know, definitely let us know and we can help you get, uh, you know, a demo spun up very quickly. So with that, I'm going to I'm going to do one more final call for any last questions. Uh, if you have any questions at all, you know, please feel free to ask if you want to be bold and you want me to unmute you, you can raise your hand and I can unmute you, you can ask it live. Uh, and and I'll, I'll let uh, Colleen and Thomas, ha you know, put any final thoughts in. And before I exit out, I'll put the uh, contact slide up. Uh, so any final questions from anybody? All right. So again, that's uh, ThinPrint and Zentegra. Again, we have a great partnership. Uh, you know, Zentegra works very hard to work with our partners. And uh, just for uh, the sake, I'll put the contact slide back up so you guys have it. And again, uh, you have Colleen, uh, myself, and Thomas on the phone today. And if you want, you can definitely reach out to any of us. Uh, and if you want it easier for me, you can just do Pete at Zentegra.com. I uh, finally got them to make me an alias for that. Uh, and if you're interested in a demo or anything else, let us know. And finally, any last thoughts from Colleen and Thomas?
I just like to thank everybody for their time and thank you so much Pete and Zentegra for giving us the opportunity to share our um, what we're preaching out here and uh, what we believe in that will help everybody to have a better printing experience out there. All right, great. Well, today we finished a little early. Uh, I know I saw a couple familiar faces last week went a little over, so I try to keep these under an hour. So I appreciate everybody joining us today. Uh, have a great rest of your Wednesdays and, you know, hey, we're on our way to the weekend. So have a good rest of your Wednesdays and have a great rest of your week. Thanks for joining us and hopefully see some of you next week.